gastritis, mixed, yeah. mixed SIBO, SIBO and sorry. leaky gut. gut. Yep. Which do I treat first? Difficulties taking antimicrobials. That's, that's tough. Um, I, my first thought would be that the pharmaceutical um, anti uh, antibiotics would be the way to go because typically they're much better tolerated than the herbals, um, particularly like with gastritis, they're like easier on the actual tummy. I'm, I'm thinking of rifaximin specifically. It also has very, very strong anti-inflammatory properties. Um, so it, I think that would be a very good option. Now, if you've already tried that and you're like, no, I just really can't take anything. But see, if you could, that would be my first option. Now with mixed, right, you have to add something in, both neomycin and metronidazole can upset the tummy. Um, another option would be alinea, that doesn't typically upset, upset the tummy. And uh, that's not as oxonide is the drug name in um, the US and other places it's called alinea. So you can take those two together, um, very safe, non-toxic, because that could clear up the gastritis, the leaky gut, and the SIBO, right, all together. Okay. So that's you why I would work on that first. Now, if you can't do that, and by the way, um, berberine uh, was actually used before people really focused on the um, antibiotic aspect, it was used to, for mucous membranes to tone and strengthen and soothe mucous membranes. So berberine would be my next bet for it, for helping leaky gut and for being tolerated with gastritis. Um, what would you do then about the methane piece there? I don't know, you know, can you, you probably can't tolerate the, the allicin. Um, you probably can't tolerate atrontil. That's very strong astringent. I don't know. You could try, right? Okay. After that, um, I guess that, you know, doing things for the leaky gut, which would probably help the gastritis too, that are not bothersome to SIBO. I, th I think we have that list in the course, but it's basically things like colostrum. Um, uh, I'm blanking. <laughs> Fish oil, uh, zinc, zinc carnosine. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of things you can do that are not um, mucilaginous, not fibrous, that won't, you know, aggravate symptoms that can help soothe. Oh, vitamin D, you know, make sure excellent levels of vitamin D, but colostrum is probably my favorite. 